Sayogi Reload Zero Win Finale! Actually, uh, I feel this is part two of a two part finale. We left the main protags dealing with both Hazel and Okoku, diba? Through Sanzo's. Uh, Sanzo, dalawang apa na sila Sanzo rito. Genjo's mind games na finalo up naman later on ni, ni Hakai. Well, they were successful in in bringing out uh, the real Hazel. Para mas surprise si tung tung demon yung na uh, koma ga eh nakasalin sa pala sa kanya a long time for a long time na. Right after this happened, Gojo and Goku now uh, resume their their fight with uh, with Okoku. Pero to no obvio talagang kahit anong gawin nila, may pa-contra si Okoku. Either physical or magical. God made the supreme sacrifice when uh, Okoku tried to kill Hazel actually kill all of them at the same time sinalag niya yung sinalag niya si Hazel from that um, from that scripture attack by Okoku yun eventually wow um, eh, gusto nga rin siya buhayin uli ni Hazel but God said nope atonement has been accomplished long ago then yun naging wow Right, that that was quite morbid. Naging literally naging lupa na lang si si God dito. As an act of retaliation, he mukhang na control na niya yung in one fleeting moment, yep, he did. He did go after Okoko in demon mode. Pero Okoko just uh, just brushed him off. Then Uh, the move that completely changed the complexion of the finale. Genjo was able to to handle Gats um uh what's called this Gats huge pistol again. Hindi nga lang niya well, no, he was aiming for the head pero hindi niya na ano eh na ilaga ng konti ni Okoku to pero mukhang nadali yung dalawang mata niya. He was able to escape And well, he he barely escaped. He escaped with within an inch of his life, practically. Dahil pinakita sa isang scene na susuray suray siya at duguan dito. Although hindi pinakita, but uh, I can I can really tell na nadali ang dalawang mata niya. Talagang binulag siya ni 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 Genjo with that gun, with that with that with, with That's huge gun. The Sanzo party failed to kill Okoko. Hey, nakatakas eh. Then uh, they just... I don't know. I don't know bakit nalang inisip na mag-jack and puy eh. Just to... Um, uh, kung sino, kung sino magbubuhot kay, kay, kay Sanzo. <laughs> so the next morning, we just saw Hazel being cared for by an, in, by an innkeeper. Siguro dinala siya ng uh, dinala siya ng Sanso party doon para of course mag, mag recuperate. Then when the innkeeper brought uh God's headband to him, he just broke down. He just broke down. Final scene, well we just saw the Sanso party kicking uh, kicking rogue demon ass while uh Bosatsu was watching them. She just said Oh, I'm here, you bastards! Come on, we're gonna break this finale down now, critic sub style. Base. From the time na well, bine verbal assault nila nila Genjo at ni Hakai si Hazel up to the time na tumakas na si na nakataka si Okoko. It was a tense pacing, right? They were up against a really powerful villain here, si Okoko. And well, nothing has changed actually in um in Gunlock. Don malakas pa rin siya. Kahit bulag na. So they just uh they just slowed him down in this uh in this series. All right. 
Do I have complaints about the pacing? It's the type of pacing that's befitting a finale. And, mukhang binid, talagang, talagang ipinadama sa, sa akin, personally, that, hey, gun lock is next. Kaya, dito, pero dito sa zeroing, nakatakas yung big bad dito. And, in gun lock, they had to deal with Hazel also. Kasi, full, uh, later on, in that, in that series' run, in full control na yung yung demonyong naka nakatira sa kanya. So yeah, they had no choice but to take Hazel out permanently. Flow naman. First gear shift here was when was when well, Hazel just um fell to the ground after well, after uh taking back control of his body from that demon. It's a no-brainer of a gearship kasi now well, kaya if you've seen the episode mga ka-lifestyle kaya nga pagka bagsak ni Hazel dum- diniretso na nila nila Gojo at Goku ang pag-resume nila ng atake kay ano kay kay Uto kay Ukoku if right uh, a few a few teka a few seconds after that ayun sumali na si Hazel Final gear shift. Yep. Was um the shot that changed everything. Yeah, I, I could say that kasi Well, talagang how hala ko ah na baril na ni ni Genjo sa ulo si Okoko eh. Kasi talaga tasik ang dugo eh. I, I thought it was a it was a legit headshot pero hindi. Nakatayo pa rin si Okoko pero Dumudugo pa rin yung mukha. Yeah, so I thought, okay, sayang. Mukhang nabulag lang. <laughs> Ayun nga, talagang nabulag. Eh, hindi naman tatakas ang gano'n yung ang punyetang ito kung hindi siya napuruhan ng kahit konti. Pero, eh, it was a big deal kasi bulag na eh. Bulag na si Ukoko. It's the gear shift that set the tone for gun lock. Ito yun. So these two gear shifts that I saw. Panoorin niyo lang ang dalawang gear shift na to at may magigets niyo na ang buong finale. I tell you mga ka nice that. Plot wise. Um There was a flashback moment pero inulit lang eh. Uh, this was also this was also seen in uh, several episodes ago. Eh, parang inulit lang. Kumaga, ni, ni-recall lang ni, ni Hazel that he should not be faced by by uh, by whatever mind games Okoko is uh, is playing on him. He should proceed with the, ata- with the attack. Kaya, malinis ang plot, mga ka-lifestyle. Thank goodness. <laughs> you can only um, tell the story of a finale this this fucking good with a clean plot okay? you cannot afford to siege in a uh, even uh, even a three second backstory sequence sirai we if you're uh, if you're Leiden films you really need to uh, tell the audience that 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 okoku is this powerful it took practically two arcs of the manga to take him down. So, ganito, 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 ganito talaga, talaga kalakas ang, ang kalabang ito. And to think he's also a Sanzo just like Genjo. Yung nga lang, he holds the Mutin scripture. The, 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 the scripture of darkness. So, talaga napalaban ng apat na bida rito. But in Gunlock, yep, they were successful in taking him out. And eventually, yun nga, um, I don't know kung paano na nakuha ni Hazel yung power na yun eh, na the power to resurrect people again. Um, uh, I really have to, I really have to brush up on my, uh, on my knowledge of Gunlock, okay? Kaya talagang gusto kong panoorin, talagang gusto kong panoorin from start to finish uli. <laughs> it's my favorite sa Yuki series actually. So, base, flow, and plot, 
They all came together for this finale, folks. Talagang. I had those finale feels in this one. So, Sayuki Reload, zero in. Finale? Nakabawi ng todong todo. Two thumbs up! Bakit? Well, if you recall, guys, I already gave this this anime the one thumb down. I think that was episode 5 or 6. Kasi, dapat hindi nila ginanun eh. In recent incarnations of Sayuki, meron silang sinisingit talaga na na side story, pero as post-credit. Like what they did with uh, Blast and Reload. The first reload. Ganun yun. Ganun dapat. Kumbaga, post credit si Cha, pero uh, daily lives. Daily lives of Team Sayuki. I, I didn't, I, I totally didn't, I totally dis- disagreed with with Lightning Films on this episode. Hindi nila dapat ginamang isang buong episode ito. Kumbaga, siguro, kailangan siguro, they should have chopped it up um, and gave it to each episode as a as a post credit. Yeah, the usual, yeah, the usual tradition for Sayuki. And yeah, Leiden Films broke it. I guess that that episode may cost them a slot in the um in this year's Otaku fight. Sayang. Ang ganda pa naman ng finale. Talagang uh set up siya for Gunlock. So, to, to everybody who's um, totally new to Sayuki, ito ang chronological order niyan. Kensoma din. Then, Reload. Then, Zero In. Then, Gunlock. And finally, Blast. Remember, hindi pa tapos ang, ang storyline ng Sayuki. They still have to deal with... Um, Kung, iba, kung ibibase sa final episode ng Blast, nabuhay na si Gyumao eh. Because yung, yung tumumpa sa kanya ay nabuhay na rin. Uh, sinugod nga rin ng ano eh. Sinugod nga rin sila, sila Sanzo eh. And now, uh, they realize in the final episode that it's now a race against time. Gyumao may be the next to be resurrected. So, uh, probably that's that's the final arc already. That's the final arc. The final arc already of the of the anime. Paglumabas yon. And well, while we're waiting, thank you, Lightning Films, for giving us uh, Sayuki Reload Zero in. Thank you, parin. Dahil for me as a Sayuki fan, I am now enlightened as to how. Uh, how the storyline of Gunlock uh, came about. So, dito yun. So, for all Sayuki fans, you should watch Zero In first before Gunlock. Power tip ko sa inyo. So, again, for now, Sayuki Reload Zero In. Finale? Two thumbs up. Another two thumbs up. Yeah, probably. Well, for now, for the final time, for Zero In. Uh, I'm gonna wait for the final arc. How many years do we have to wait again for another Sayuki series? Uh, this took us four. Kasi 2018, 2018 ng blast eh. uh, I saw that. Uh, I saw that on Animax. Then ayun nga, zero in. So so there's nowhere else to go for this anime than the final arc. Lagang. Uh, if you base it on Blast, more likely, malapit na mabuhay si Gyumao. So, problema yun! Pag nabuhay yun! Eh, yun nga ang, yun nga ang talagang mission ng apat eh. To, to stop his resurrection. He will bring ruin to the world. Pag nangyari yun. Kaya, well, I guess we'll have to wait another few years for another Sayuki series. <laughs> Ay, ganun talagang, ganun talagang anime ngayon eh. So Patreon, wait for my next upload. 
And for those of you who are still stuck with the CHD, well, pa magagawa nyo, edi chill chill lang. It's about time I um, tell you what's uh, the future of the Critics Hub starting uh, starting this coming anime season, which is uh, spring 2022. Everyone, oh, nearly everyone now knows that I am an official host for Bigo now, but uh, my commitment to the Critics Hub hasn't changed. Say, well. So, what I'm about to do is this. Hindi ko, hindi na ako magre-review ng uh, lahat ng episodes ng full roster every week. So, I'm going to do this at random. But, uh, kasi mga pilot ito eh. So, priority na i-feature ang mga pilot sa YouTube. Because, eh, syempre, nagpapasok ka na. So, every week, uh, we're going to, um, we're going to, again, employ the, um, the random list, the random list, uh, format. So, every week, hindi guaranteed na magbabak to ang isang anime sa pagre-review ko. Pasta next week, Puro pilot, sigurado ang ifi-feature ko sa on both YouTube and Patreon. Pero, of course, uh, the dailies sa YouTube, they're, they're on, uh, there are only five. So now, we, uh, we're going to have, a th- again, a 13 anime roster in for Spring 2022. But the minimum now... Uh, for Patreon is 8. So, kumbaga, you will be seeing 8 reviews per week on Patreon. Pero, sa YouTube, only 5. Kasi daily nga eh. So, again, uh, mga ka-lifestyle, I will no longer be um, uh, reviewing a full roster every week. Kumbaga, walu-walu lang. In order for me to... um to uh, to fulfill some commitments with Bigo. Kasi nga, I'm already uh, I'm already an official host and I'm a well you know, bakit okay naman officer ng family. <laughs> but anyway, I'm uh, uh, I took the uh, I took the challenge. And uh, that's about it. That's about it. So if you're now uh, if you're new to the Critics Hub, that's what we're going. That's how it's going to go down next week, starting next week. So, can't believe we're we're, we're already closing Volume Seven. So, mga lifestyle, Patreon. See you in Volume Eight.